Good afternoon, morning everybody, my name is Sizzle and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We are going to play with uh, Magdalene this time. We're going to do a normal run, not a, a greed run. Because I feel like it. So Maggie starts with uh, pretty average damage, 3.5, 10 uh, tears rates. But she's a little bit slow. She's, she's a chunky girl and she starts with the yum heart uh, which is our space bar item and it will heal a full HP when we use it um, it only heals red HP so it's not the greatest item in the world um, it's obviously it limits you to um, doing red hard runs basically if you if you're building around it i mean um but okay we'll, we'll come back for that remember remember that remind me about that um she's not bad she's kind of tanky we don't want this we want to change this so we need we need to get a bomb um but i'm going to try and do something I don't really do is try and go for like a red heart type of build. It, it. Um, and I'm gonna do that by actually using a room I never use on this on this series is the sacrifice room. We use the sacrifice room, so there's spikes obviously you can see, her, and then if you keep damaging yourself on it. It will give you stuff. It will also, I don't know if it's a good idea to use now. We can just go and get this hearty boys right quick. And then again, so we feel blessed. It gives us, uh, turns our devil deal into an angel deal instead, but we don't really want, we can't get a devil deal on the first floor. Um, I know there is a way to, uh, to get to the angel deal using that Ooh. champion's belt i don't think we'll be able to afford it on this level um we do get a bomb for the item room and for this tinted rock because we don't want this as is Analog is cool. Analog stick is fine. Um, <clears throat> gives us a bit of a attack speed up, and also we can shoot in these extra four directions as well. Mm, let's bomb the shopkeeper and get two monies out of that. I was hoping for a bit more. Get this thing. Go back to the sacrifice room. Okay, we're just gonna get it back. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not sure if we can't get to the angel room on this floor because you can't get a devil deal on the first floor. Um, I don't know if that's if that's the thing, but I know you can actually. You can. It'll if you sacrifice enough health, it'll just straight up teleport you to the angel room. Um, if you haven't seen an angel room before, actually, I don't think we have on this on this series yet. Um, it's basically like a devil deal, except the items are free. I say free, like sometimes they're locked behind like a key, a key lock or whatever. You gotta unlock them with a key, but they don't cost you HP. And it's uh, it has its own. Um, it has. I think we should just go down. Yeah. The uh, Angel Deal does have its own, um, what do you call it? Angel Item Room Pool. Angel Room Item Pool. Yes, now that, that's the one. Just use my speaking words on that one. 
so it will have yeah it's got its own like uh, set of items uh, a lot of them are pretty strong it's always a good thing to get an angel deal i guess unless you're looking for specific items but i digress we did pick up cube of meat in the boss fight it's a great item good orbital block shots does a lot of damage you pick up more it will turn into a head that shoots as well we can have a look at what's going on in here depression is a sad sight to see we will pick it up depression will leave a trail of tears behind us that will damage enemies that follow us like those guys so um, yeah it's a thing i guess it's not really uh the best item in the game because not a lot of enemies tend to follow you. Ooh, crawl space and and the secret room. Got lucky there. If you guys don't know what happened there, something blew up. One of the enemies blew up and then revealed these to us. So crawl space is just a little room. Um, sometimes there'll be an opening over here as well that'll take you to an, an another little room. It could be the I am arrow room as well. Um, and there's usually a trinket, like we just get uh, the missing poster now. And, and sometimes just like money wall bomb or whatever. It's nothing special really, but it's always good to find because they're quite rare. We're going to use the yum heart. So missing posters, a trinket. Um, if uh it's actually kind of weird to be honest um let me have a look excuse me it's not the missing poster it's the failed polaroid yeah okay so the missing poster is something we are, i don't think we've unlocked yet uh failed polaroid will sometimes make us um uh la, 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 which what's the word Cam camouflaged um there you go so we will kind of like blend in with the floor and then when we do that our enemies become like stunned because they can't really f they can't find us whatever that's the the idea of it anyway do we want to use the bomb on this tinted rock i think so we did find the secret room by chance so i don't think we want to go find the super secret room get a lot of hp out of that Not bad, not bad. So depression is also pretty freaking useless against uh, flying units. As you can see. And the Forsaken... This isn't Forsaken. I don't read names, man. What's wrong with me? I uh, do not know... I hate this fight. It always takes forever. And I'm always too scared to like stand in front of him because I'd never know when he's going to attack. Even though, well, he doesn't really have a toll over there, but like I can never dodge it. So I try and see, I uh, try and get out of his way as much as possible, which makes the fight longer. And I don't want to lose our devil deal chance. Come on. I probably should have found the sacrifice room on this level and then gone for it. The thing is though, whoop, that was lucky. Um, when we do the sacrifice room, obviously if you if you end up giving it red heart damage, if you take red heart damage from the sacrifice room, your blood clot, um, it will eliminate your devil deal chance because you're taking the red heart damage. We're not going to take the spade, but we will take pentagram. The spade will basically create one of these little uh, hatches in the floor for you to go down to the next level. I suppose it's good for speedrunning, but we don't do that here. Boom, boom. Um, this is a, have we done these rooms before? It's not a sacrifice room, but it obviously got spikes in the door. 
which will damage you for half a heart on the way in and half a heart on the way out. Unless you have flying. Oh yeah, it's on. It's in the greed mode. They're in the greed mode. We got the stars that will teleport us to the uh, item room and death. Um, we're gonna take the stars and just use it. Money equals power. Yeah, boy, money equals power is a great item. Obviously, the more money you have, the more damage you do. There's no downside to it, really. Um, if you don't have any money, it doesn't uh, take away from your power. Like, we started with, what What was it? Like, four point something damage now when we picked it up. So, it's always a great uh, item to have. Obviously, it gives you incentive not to go to the shop. Um... But I mean, if, you, if you're stacking them coins, if you've got like 99 monies, you might as well go to the shop. I think we're just going to take the boss. Hmm? Yeah. Well, hope uh, the 30, 36% chance for the devil deal there actually works. Chances are though. <laughs> no way. I do need to learn to use my orbitals like offensively. Oh no, okay. Don't take damage, don't take damage. No, we took the damage. Okay, no devil deal for us then. What? 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 2.75% chance to get a devil deal. And then we get it. What? Okay. Oh, for fuck's sakes. And then it's a fucking Krampus fight? Seriously? Fuck this game. Really? I was literally about to say, oh my word, this game is actually going to give us a break. And then they give us a 2.5%. Oh, that is. Man, I can't believe it. <sighs> Man. Okay, I'm probably not going to get over that, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If you guys don't remember two floors ago, I actually had a significant amount of HP. And now I'm fighting for scraps. Mm, don't have a bomb to get that, so. If you guys do play this game, you might, um, you might know the feeling. Okay, I was hoping for, oh, okay, number one. You might know the feeling of seeing a, a, a treasure room like this and going, mm -hmm, give me something good. And we get number one. Yeah, okay, we'll take it. Number one will uh, give us the soft tier cap. We'll put us on the soft tier cap. So we attack quickly, but significantly um, reduce our range um, I don't know if you can break the so the software cap with this thing though I don't think so honestly I'm gonna pick up that just because I have a funny sneaking suspicion I'm gonna be taking damage in soon Although, in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have taken it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as we beat mom. Okay, we get a key. This compost, which is interesting. I don't know. I don't think we're going to take anything in there anyway. Uh, compost is an activatable item that will turn all consumables on the floor into a 
blue fly or I don't know if it does spiders as well but it does do flies so anything that's lying on the floor batteries keys consumables as I've said turns them into flies probably should have used that bomb to see if there wasn't a secret room next to me a super secret room um there is health to be had can we try and find a sacrifice room I think so I can heal at least twice because there's a heart in the shop and I have the yum heart the yum yum heart mm -hmm. the nummy boys the healthy healths what is this now Ooh, two of hearts that's great Emperor is a will teleport us straight to the boss fight book of shadows is temporary invincibility as it says um, we're gonna take this and we're gonna take this for now and try and find the sacrifice room I don't think there is a sacrifice room then huh fancy that this is the arcade so these are gambling machines as you can see I don't really use them that much I usually just bomb them hopefully they drop something like bombs or keys or money or whatever out of it um, if I'm looking for an extra an extra um, couple of coins then I'll take that uh, I should be taking I should be taking this It is objectively better, especially since we have the cube of meat. And I was really hoping there would be a sacrifice room here. But regardless, we are going to take the two of hearts just for now, in case we do take damage and we can just heal. And then we're going to go back for the emperor card. Who thinks? Carrion queen. Okay, obviously not the greatest thing greatest boss to fight with a uh, cube of meat with an orbital but she moves around so freaking much um it's kind of like chad but you can't shoot it from the front it's annoying as fuck and then she has this mode and she poops red poops red poops will damage you when you touch them and they for some reason replenish themselves um as you can see then she breaks it, and then it'll just... Okay, okay. Unbelievably did not take damage there. We'll take meat. Gives us a small damage up. And a red heart. I'm gonna go back for... You know what? Yeah. We'll go back for um, the Emperor card. And then almost pretty much immediately use it when we get to the... Next floor, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, there was a. Pardon me. There was a um battery in the shop, right? If there was a battery in the shop, I think we should take it. Yes, we'll take the battery. So that as soon as we get to the next level. As soon as we get here, we can go straight to the boss, use the card, and the cube of meat, and just destroy this guy, and we'll unlock Necropolis. And the reason why we did that is so that we can immediately secure a devil deal. Uh, Guppy's hairball will take for the sake of hoping to turn into Guppy. That's pretty much it. We won't necessarily be using it. I am going to go and explore the, the area just to go look for um, the item room. Strictly speaking, we can go down further. Um, we can go down to the next level, but I like item rooms, okay? I like treasure rooms. I like the items they gave me. It's like a loot box opening type thing. 
Actually, it's exactly like loot boxes because you pay your key to unlock it and then you get disappointment. Despite how happy it always makes you in the first place just by seeing it there. Oh, I didn't explain uh, Headless Babies because it does exactly the same thing as Depression. It's just a trail of bullshit behind you that doesn't really do anything. Except it's blood. Ugh. Can't believe we still don't have bombs. Ah, oh, I can go get a bomb there. Nope, don't touch me. Creepy mans. Why is my... This, I've got the names and stuff. It looks fairly distracting, actually. I should change that. If you don't know what that is, that's just a mod um, I've installed just to help me see the, the items that I have a little bit more clearly. Um, you can see it if you look at the at the my stuff over here, obviously, but it's obviously not very clear as to what you got. So I just have that over there because it's just easier to recognize. It's just a visual thing. I'm not cheating. Relax. Um, I didn't have it on the very first episode. <clears throat> Actually, second episode. Um, of the series because apparently it, it actually blocks unlocking certain things. I had to fight mom twice with Isaac uh, just to get the unlock for it because um, it blocked it for some reason. I don't, know. I don't know why. We'll take fish head. Sometimes makes um, blue flies. Blue flies are cool. Hopefully we'll get two more guppy items. I doubt we will, but guppy transformation is always good. It's the best. We're just gonna use a key to get this bomb because we haven't had bombs. And we're gonna go in here. And, uh, obsessed fan is useless. Technically speaking, not really useless, but it's useless. So obsessed fan is a little fly boy, girl, it's a fly, that's going to follow us and then do move exactly where we, where we move, pardon me, just at a delayed rate. And then anything it touches will, um, it will do damage to it. But it's, I mean, come on. Oh yes, for those of you who don't know what Guppy's hairball, Guppy's hairball is that little, this, where's there, that weird brown thing. You can swing it around you, and then anything it passes through, it does damage to, and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and do more damage. So you can swing it around, and yeah. So, uh, despite my regular disappointment in the items that we've been getting, um, we do have some pretty good carry items. Money equals power, great item. And our cube of meat with uh, the Book of Shadows is also great for killing bosses. So, <clears throat> we're not completely useless. We did to get some good stuff. I just gotta watch our HP. Um, and we should be able to get through this. Uh, trapped! Trap, 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 trap! Taking too much damage! Uh. Okay, what's in here? Nothing special. We'll take this for the sake of it. Um, It's weird, like, you get money equals power, and now suddenly we're not getting many money. Hmm. Sounds like an Isaac game. So I suppose depression and headless baby will do damage yeah, because those guys just follow you. We won't go into the arcade. Actually, we might. We might go into the arcade just to look for some money. And you might be thinking, oh, but you spend money to get into the arcade. Yes, that is true. But also, we've got four bombs. And that key. Coupled with another key. But we're going to go in here. 
Um, I'll spend my last coin just to show you what this guy does. So you give him monies and he'll take an item, put it around and you got to choose. All right. I always go middle. Just because of reasons. Just make it go faster because it's, it's not possible really to tell exactly where it is. Accurately. Um, blood bank. Hearts equals money. Don't want to use that. That's not, it's not a blood bank. You get the item blood bank out of it if you use it enough, but we don't want to do that. We sh probably should, though. Mr. Boom. Whoa. Okay, Mr. Boom's got a big radius. I didn't think it was going to be that big. So these guys are not going to take damage from baby thing actually i can't believe swan or oh, not swan protector but the obsessed fan actually did the damage there stay there in your enclosure so we got a 2.75 percent chance to get a deal with the devil and then we got it do you think we're gonna get it with 30 percent 33 36 percent i don't think so i don't think it's gonna happen so a lot of people actually don't like taking number one because of the reduced um, range. What? Why did the doors open there? I didn't kill the last enemy. But um, we have... We have... Um, blood clot. So at least one or half of our shots have an okay range. I don't want to say decent on okay is a, is fine it's a fine description and it has they have uh, increased damage as well but um pardon me i don't know why i keep burping one um it's okay that's fine not the not the normal shot the the blood blood shot check this maze of holes Ha, hmm, hmm, ha, hmm. Okay, there's nothing in there. If you're wondering what this is, that's an angel chest. It will reload itself. But it's always a gamble because you don't know what's going to be in it. And it takes a shit ton of keys. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh. Cricket's head, yes please. Thank you, sir. Cricket's head is just basically straight up raw damage. It's just gonna give you shit ton of, shit ton of damage. It's great. And we actually got a quite a quite a few monies out of there as well. And we were lucky enough to get the keys to help keep opening it. It's just... sometimes you'll you can spend like two keys, three keys on it, and then get like not much not worth two keys going on the assumption that a key is worth five cents because it usually is in the shops um if you don't know what that effect was that was like a crack the sky effect um it's an effect that you can do to enemies with a few items that will uh, does aoe damage around the area and does usually does a very good decent amount of damage I don't know why triggered. Honestly, there's nothing that I have that should have triggered that. So I don't know what what the hell that was. So we finally get a devil deal, mom. We're gonna try and use the um, cube of meat as much as we can. Come on. Okay, so there's no more. Um, Book of Shadows, but that's okay because as long as we dodge the initial hit, we can we can still touch her. Don't get the devil deal because damage we took in the last room, but that's okay. We get the safety pin. Gives us shot speed and decent range at least.
Right. Hmm. So there's no more item rooms. We're just gonna have to wing it from now on. But um, no more shops either. So all our money is gonna be used straight for damage. We'll pick up the Eternal Heart. Eternal Heart is a white heart that will, well, half a white heart that doesn't necessarily count towards your HP. I think if you get hit, like it does, it it just goes away. Um. Oh man, that room is not great, but it's a good thing we had good damage there. Um, it it'll just go away. But if we if we manage to keep it until our next until we defeat the boss and we jump down to the next floor, it will then turn into a full red heart for us. So it's kind of like you know keeping it in the bank. Yeah, hopefully we get money out of these poops. One. Fine. Okay. Whatever. Fine. Be like that. Do we want to go anywhere else? I mean, no. Not really. High death. Get some cube of meat. Boy. Okay, well... He, uh, he don't like us. He's standing in the corner, so we can't get him. Hey, cube of meat. Look at that. It's a cube of meat with a face now that shoots. I don't think the shots really are worth anything. They're definitely not anything to speak of, really. Okie dokes. Du, 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 du. So, as long as I don't take any damage, not any damage, if as long as I can dodge some stuff, this should be a, a home free. We should be able to defeat Mom's Heart pretty easily. I mean, the damage that we're doing is pretty ridiculous. Um, we're going to have a look for the secret room here. Look. Not there. I mean, at this point, secret rooms are kind of, I don't want to say obsolete, but I mean, they're just, uh, you know, the cherry on the cake. Money equals power is definitely doing its job here. And Cricket's head. Get him. Yes. And we find the boss room super quick. We're just going to get rid of these eyes first before we, um... Use our. There you go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Just for fun, what's in here? Ah. Oh, hello? Let's go down. Experimental treatment. <clears throat> so, if you were wondering why we didn't open that chest in uh, Mom's heart, it's because that would have ended the run for us. Um, I don't like this monster; he's annoying. Um, but that would have ended ended the run for us. Um, at least this way, we're going to the Devil Deal. Um, it's the way down to go fight. Uh, the devil himself, I suppose. So, I'm gonna find all kinds of weird and wonderful things down here. And you'll also notice that there will there isn't a devil deal chance, and that's because we're gonna fight the devil. So he doesn't want anything to do with us. We're gonna blow up these blue things to look for. Soul hearts. Not because I want to get a devil deal chance, but because I want more HP. Straight up. It's the only reason. How many of these things are there going to be? I, 
That's one thing that kind of annoys me in this game is that um, the chances to find like the same boss multiple times is just ridiculous. Like you can fight Monstro. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up, but it's fine. You can fight Monstro. How many times? Like how many? How many times can you kill a Monstro? Loki's horns. So um, those brimstone bugs are do damage to everything else in the room as well. So you don't have to be really be scared of them. You just kill one of them and then move off to the side, and they should be able to clear most of the room for you. Actually, we're gonna see uh, what can we do. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand bomb. Yeah, boy. I didn't dodge that one on purpose. I wanted to see if I could get through and I couldn't. The hardest part about this fight are those little um, eyeball leeches. I don't know what to call them. But they are single-handedly the hardest part of this fight. So that was Stanley Satan Devilmans with Maggie, the new character. Got a little bit overpowered at the, towards the end there. I did end up taking a lot more damage than I'm used to, but that's okay. So thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.